Episode 6 of Goosebumps titled Night of the Living Dummy is pretty straightforward. If you've read the book, then you know what exactly this chapter and this episode is all about. It's about Slappy. Yes, Slappy the Doll or Slappy the Dummy, whatever you want to call him. This is based off of the R.L. Stein book of the same name. And I would say that this is a reinvention, reimagining a better story than what we know about the origins of Slappy. And it's done really, really well. The creepiness factor, the scary factor, the comedic factor is there. But it's done so in a way where you didn't expect it. And the design of Slappy is 100% different than what you see in the original series. And even in the movies or even in the books for that matter. Now, Brat or Harold tells the group of a story of how his great-grandfather Ephraim was kind of a magician and his career was dwindling down and wasn't getting any good things or anything for that matter he goes to a magic shop where he finds slappy the dummy he found a spell in the dummy's coat pocket that brought slappy to life and all of a sudden after reading this thing out loud the spell it brought slappy to life and of course ephraim had a budding career decades later slappy had ephraim kind of retrieve a coffin on uh, someone named Kandu and urged him to read this spell in it but Ephraim didn't want to do that because then you know something's going to happen but boy Slappy is really straightforward and much more scarier and much more different than what you thought he would be in this uh, Ephraim had a vision vision of people dying in a large burning tower and you know he couldn't go through with what he was doing to Slappy and he rejected Slappy or the dummy's influence on him. Now he bought a house in Port Lawrence in a way and then he hid Slappy's case behind a wall in the basement and then in 1993, 10 years after Ephraim's death sadly, his estranged descendants the Biddles, which is now the Biddle House, if you've been paying attention to the five-episode premiere, uh, they kind of inherit the house, and Harold, who was bullied in his previous school, kind of had a hard time fitting in with the town. We get the backstory. He takes Slappy to a talent show, and all of a sudden, things start happening, and he starts unraveling and going crazy. Slappy kind of humiliates, you know, certain friends of his, and in a way, and Harold's friends, and they kind of see that Slappy is acting on his own without anything that Harold is doing. What's then? Harold locks himself in the basement and leading to an accidental death of a fire for one of the characters. And, you know, then scared by the dummy, kind of frantically, Harold tores him up into pieces and with his bare hands and the groups decide to hide the remains and keep the events of that night a secret a big big secret now if we and if you've seen the entire five episode premiere then you know the secret that not only are the kids in this series now you know trying to figure things out but their parents have a secret this is one of those secrets in the present day the children realize and rationalize that their parents were not at fault in harold's death and upsetting and angering you know brat in a way and harold sheds mr brat's kind of appearance and reveals himself to the group and that's the end of the episode i didn't really give too much away in this episode it's very hard to do but it was easy to do in a way because night of the living dummy is really really different than the previous five episodes that premiered with goosebumps but listen um this is episode six episode nine is titled night of the living dummy part two what's going to happen with that one like that's going to be interesting like it's going to be really really fun i absolutely loved this episode very different than what you would think an episode of goosebumps would be it's definitely geared more toward adults you can see that and the stories are very intricate fun just seeing slappy in a different form in a different way now it's just oh it's just creepy and when you see him in the book you know, that front cover that pops up and then you see him in the TV series of the original TV series, then in the Goosebumps movie with Jack Black. And now you see him here. It's the progression of different aspects of how we think Slappy would look. But if you remember the books up until now, it's like as my generation, I would want to say, grew up with the books. And now we see this series in 2023. 
Slappy also grew with the transition of the times, and the story was updated. But it was really good. It was really well done. And Nick Mueller really wrote a phenomenal episode. It was also a really well directed episode by Felix Enrique Alcala. And it's I'm curious to see what's going to happen. This is a 10 episode season, and I really want this to have a second season because with all those books, you can go into many, many stories. Now, I did mention that in my previous review of the first five episode premiere of Goosebumps that this kind of had a young adult YA novel series feel to it and what you see on the CW with either could be the Vampire Diaries but absolutely not this is geared toward a whole different audience where we know what Goosebumps is we understand what the lore is and factors and every single aspect of the title of each episode is based on the book with these characters in it it's really really good it's really really fun I'm surprised Disney Plus and Hulu did something like this people are watching it people will watch it if you haven't watched it word of mouth will get people to watch it this is fun this is different this is exciting it's probably my favorite series of this year of 2023 and it's definitely in my top 10 i really don't care if we're only episode six or six episodes in i feel like it's going to end on a high note and we're definitely going to get a second season let me know in the comment section below what you thought about episode six of goosebumps titled night of the living dummy did you like it did you not like it what did you think of it what do you think about the aspect of the story did you like the reinvention the reimagining the new look of slappy or are you used to the books and the original series or the movie look or do you think that this one had more of a horror based aspect to it let me know in the comment section below about all the questions I just asked. And be sure you click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell for new review videos on my channel. I will see you all in the next review video. And be sure you tune in next week for my episode 7 review of Goosebumps. I'm Mr. Filmstock and thank you so much for tuning in.